lots of positives on that. I'm taking a video of you taking a video. Everybody said get the bushwhacker. That's a strong dream. My name is Spencer Mays. We are the Reckless. It's good to be in the floor of Emma with you guys tonight. So, you gotta take your shoes off. First drink <laughs> is on the beach. We're not in Alabama. We're technically in Florida. Oh yeah. <laughs> that one knocked my hat, hat off. <laughs> and this place is beautiful. We've never been to Gulf Shores. Okay, this is cool. It's raining. We're heading to Gulf Shores, Alabama. We pull out, like as soon as we leave our driveway this morning, it starts pouring down raining. FYI, get yourself a scooter cone because I still haven't got me one yet and it's back there getting wet. But that's all right, we can dry her off, it'll be all nice and clean, but I need to do that. Yes. I need to do that. Instead of buying groceries before we left Alexandria, it was pouring down raining, so we stopped in Alabama to get groceries. And while we were there, we got a small bottle of Tabasco sauce. Why? Because we already had a big bottle of Tabasco sauce. This is why. So when we were in South Louisiana, Jason bought this little um, Tabasco holder that goes on your dining table. Well, we have a moving vehicle, so we don't wanna just sit on the table because it'll slide around. I put putty on the bottom, so I have this little tacket putty that I use to hold all kinds of things down in this RV. So put some putty on here. Put the R put this in there. We are all set up. We are here at Luxury RV Resort in Gulf Shores, Alabama. This is our first time to ever be in Alabama. We've driven through Alabama, but first time staying in Alabama. We are right on the beach. Like we can literally walk to the beach. Um, it's already getting dark, so we're not gonna go to the beach tonight. We're just gonna chill at our, our spot because we've got a really sweet spot. And we're gonna cook some dinner. So I'm cutting up some squash and zucchini and we're gonna saute those inside. And then Jason is cooking a steak on the grill for us. So we're gonna have steak and veggies, trying to eat a little bit healthier. Um, and that's the, the beauty of, we have found that when we are in the RV, we tend to eat healthier than we do at home. So lots of positives on that. I'm but, taking a video of you taking a video. Silly goose. 
But yeah, so tonight is just chill time. We've got our rock and chair set up, the grill's going. Um, no plans tonight except for just to rest and relax and sit back and enjoy ourselves. And tomorrow we're gonna get out and go explore. Luxury RV Resort, it's a four block walk to the beach. So yes, we do have the scooter, but we can't bring the cooler on the scooter. So it won't hurt us to get a little bit of exercise anyway. So we're walking the four blocks with our cooler because we have lunch packed, some drinks, beach tent, So it's a nice walk down these four blocks because there's all kinds of cool stuff down here. There's a really neat diner, uh, other restaurants, souvenir shops, huge massive souvenir beach surf shops. And this is the coolest Dollar General I think I've ever seen because it's like covered with beach floats on the outside. I got us a beach tent. Let's see if we can put this thing together right the first time. <laughs> Okay, this is cool. We have a beach tent. So we've made it down here to Gulf Shores Beach. This beach is absolutely gorgeous. White sands, beautiful sun. There's a lot of people here, but not so many that you feel crowded. Like everybody's spread out. But check out this beach tent. I just love it. Yeah. You like the beach tent? Yeah, good. It's got shade. And it's got something under you, you know, so you're not just sitting on the sand. I love it. Yeah, it's great. Great idea. Go, Elisa. <laughs> We've never been to Gulf Shores, and the beach is incredible. We got us a cooler. We got us a little picnic lunch. A couple beers, a couple Gatorades, a couple waters. We don't have beach towels, though, so we may walk down to that brightly colored building back there and get us a couple beach towels that we can throw in the tent, kind of make it a little more comfortable. Yeah. But first, let's go get in some water. Heck yeah, let's do that. <laughs> right here, not the Caribbean, the Gulf of Mexico. But look how cool. It's cold water, by the way. Big wave.
butt over if you're not careful. Oh, the salty sea. Or gulf. Gulf. Yeah. Sea, same thing. See? See? It's a gulf. See? It's a gulf. <laughs> Oh, it's lunchtime now. So we're back in the beach tent. We just got knocked around by the waves. The waves were literally knocking us off our feet. Um, I think I've inhaled quite a bit of seawater. So we're taking a little break now. Jason's inhaling his sandwich. <laughs> he eats a lettuce wrap because he doesn't eat bread. With mustard. It's awesome. So we've spent a nice, enjoyable mid-morning afternoon at the beach. What yes. do you think? Well, it's a beautiful beach. The sand is just, I mean, it's white, it's powdery. I mean, it's really good. I honestly enjoyed this beach way more than I thought I would. Um, we spent a lot longer here than I thought we would because typically I get bored on a beach really quick. But the, there's a really nice breeze blowing. We had our beach tent. We just kind of got under the tent, ate our lunch, and relaxed. It was nice. Yeah, it was nice. It was nice. So we're going to walk back, and I think we're going to jump in an Uber and head over to, not for sure yet, to the Florabama. We've been told a lot about yep. this place, uh, that it's the... It's a big yacht club in Orange Beach, which is about 20 minutes down the, the beach here. So we think we're gonna go get some, some dinner maybe, and uh, it's on the beach. Mm -hmm. We're gonna check that out. A yeah, bit. yep. So but let's go check it out. Let's go. So we're a little hot from our walk, so we're going to take a dip in the pool and cool off before we get into clean clothes and go somewhere else. Can you see my face underneath the shade? There I am. So we're going to chill in this water, but this feels good. Okay, so the Gulf is fun. It's The water's nice and cool, but the waves can be exhausting. So this is nice and peaceful, and we can just sit here and listen to some music and relax for a bit. I can't find Jason. He's somewhere in this pool. All right, so we are sitting on the bench in front of Luxury RV Resort waiting for our lift to come and get us because we are going to the Flora Bama Yacht Club for dinner and then the Flora Bama. Is it Flora Bama or Flora Bama? Flora. Is it Flora Bama? Yeah, Flora Bama yeah, Roadhouse Flora Bama. afterwards. That's right. So we're going to go to the True. True Redneck Yacht Club. <laughs> So this is going to be cool. We are taking a lift instead of driving the scooter. For obvious reasons. <laughs> yes. I'm a little windblown, honey. How's my hair? Oh, you look beautiful, darling. Beautiful. Well, let me just tell you, ravishing tan you have. <laughs> so here we are. This better be good because our Uber or Lyft driver said, I've, I went into Flora, Bama back in 1988 and I never saw a reason to come back so <laughs> he said welcome to the tourist trap so we're gonna go in and peek our head in and see what it's all about and we will report back well you'll actually see it so yeah. come Woo. on let's go check it out <laughs> so so far so cool this place is really neat I mean, you walk into a gift shop and you're like, eh. Then you walk through the gift shop and there's this huge bar that goes like four different directions. And one direction is on the beach. They got an oyster bar. But then across the street is the yacht club. So we're going to check it all out maybe. Hopefully. We'll see. But so far, this place is pretty awesome. Well, that's one stage. I don't know what they have across the street at the at the yacht club. This is our first time, but 
everybody kept saying you gotta go to the Florabama place, you know, in Orange Beach. So it's really cool. They got this couple of uh, like clothes lines hanging up here, and there's like brawls of every color, shape, and size hanging on this thing. Look at this. I would absolutely agree with that. Come on, let's go. So, you gotta take your shoes off. First drink <laughs> is on the beach. This is a Florabama Jamma, which is coconut rum. Pine, uh, banana rum, pineapple juice, cranberry juice, and Sprite. That's pretty good. It's fruity. Not too strong. Not yet. It does a lot of alcohol in there, but. And mine is Ultra. It's uh, <laughs> Michelob Ultra. And it's made with beer. yeast. <laughs> it's made with beer. Jason's being adventurous. Look what he found. Kona Brewing in Hawaii. And I got I got the big wave. I just wanted to change it up. Too much Michelob. And look what I found. Angry Orchard in a can. I've never seen it in a can. Well, she always, she loves things in a can. Things taste better to her in a yes. can. So I was like, yeah, and it was his very last one. Meant to be. Yay. Just chilling on the beach today. I love it. It's a beautiful day. It is. This sand is amazing, by the way. It's white powder. It's powder is white powder. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Yeah, better than some of the sand in the Caribbean. In the yeah. Caribbean. We're not in Alabama. We're technically in Florida. Oh yeah. What is it? Gulf Breeze? Yeah. Gulf Breeze, Florida. So, we never heard of that place. No, so it's the Florida, Florida, Bama state line, but we're technically in Florida. So. An extra state in this trip. How about that? Here's to Flor Florabama. Florabama. Well, hello there. Hello. I have sand in my ears. Oh my God. <laughs> but there's literally sand in my ears. Oh my gosh. Whew. What do you think? I'm having a ball. So we've been down at the beach. Now we're going to go across the street because the restaurants are across the street and then we'll come back here later and listen to the live music. So, so, so. We can't seem to decide where we want to eat because there's live music over here and there's food, so we might just eat here and listen to the live music. We haven't quite decided yet. I don't know the name of this band, but these guys are good, man. Real good. These are the fish, the shrimp tacos. This is their, one of their specialties here, fried shrimp. That's delicious. Everybody said get the bushwhacker. That's a strong drink, let me tell you. Okay, so everybody said that we had to try the Bushwhacker here. It's their specialty drink. Well, it looks like ice cream in a cup, but it packs a punch. It's super strong. 
I promise you I will only be having one of these. I will be having Michelob Ultra and tasting hers. So this is band number three. My new home has a flash in the unsigned. So we're going to take a little dump. A little dump. <laughs> so we're gonna take a little. <laughs> I look taller than you. Oh, let me get up. <laughs> yeah, it's taking a picture when you touch it. It's that auto setting. Okay. 